Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. <sighs> well, let's just get this started off, all right? Today, the Nashville Prayers took on the Carolina Hurricanes for game two. I'm going to go into stats right away because I'm, I'm going to get through this as quickly as possible because there's a post-game interview I really want to get into. <laughs> so, shots on net were 32 to 31. Not a big difference there. Face-offs, 53 to 48. Not a big difference there. Nashville, 0 for 7 on the power play. Carolina, 1 for 3. Penalty minutes, 18 to 10, Carolina. Hits, 52 to 39, at Carolina. Blocks, 17 to 10, Carolina. Giveaways, 19 to 16, Nashville. That's how you lose a game. Yeah. Scarring. Scoring in the first period with Sebastian Aho. Was it an assist from... Uh, Svechnikov and Doug Hamilton. Scoring in the second. Nothing. Scoring in the third with a minute left. Sebastian Ajo with his second with an assist from Pesci, his third. Uh, Warren Fogel also scored with an assist from Jasper Fox. Duchesne had three giveaways. Three giveaways. No takeaways. Four shots on goal. Passing percentage of 10%. And all for six on the faceoff. Wow. Yes, Duchesne had a wonderful game. Giveaways. Five for Echo. Three for Yossi. Uh... In that for Nashville was UC Soros. Soros stopped 28 to 30 with a 0.933 save percentage. He was the only guy to show up for Nashville today. In that for Carolina was Alex Nadalkovich. He stopped 32 and 32 with a shutout. Referee is where Gene Heber. Uh, Jake Brink and Chris Lee. Uh, linesmen were uh, Michael Cormier and Ryan Daisy. Head coaches were Rod Brindamore, not getting into Nashville. You don't want my opinion. Um, scratches. Tyler Lewington, Ron Pitlick, Ben Harper, Callie Yonkrock, Nick Cousins, David Ferris, Rocco Grimaldi, T Matthew Olivier, Philip Tomasino, Jeremy Davies, Michael McCarron, Dante Fabro, and Casimir Casuo. Carolina, Cedric Paquette, Max McCormick, Drew Shore, jo uh, Joachim Ryan, and two Anton Badeau, Bobo, uh, Maxim LaJoy, Joey Keenan, James Reimer, Roland McNeil, Ryan Suzuki, Morgan Geeky, Jacob Slavin. If this would ever work. Three stars of the game. Today is not my day. I'm having some issues over here. Anybody that can help would be great. I'm stuck going through all the penalties because my mouse died. Sorry, this was third star. I don't. I think one was one, and I forget who the other one was. Let's see if right now. 
Oh, there. Three stars of the game, Brady Shea, Sebastian Ajo, Alex Nadalkovic. That's according to NHL.com. Yep. Those are the three. Mm. Did Soros on, any, on there? Yeah, I know they did. That was T-Mobile. What do they know? Uh, apparently not much. Um, because Brady Shea had a plus one, four hits, one block, two giveaways, and one takeaway. Third star of the game? Huh? You're not going to give it to, to Warren Fogel, who scored a goal. No, let's give it to the guy who did nothing. Hey, that makes no sense. No, it doesn't really. All right, let's get into the post-game interview. And for those of you, this is an open topic. So for those of you on Facebook and YouTube, if you've made it this far, mm -hmm. feel free to crack one open with me. Because yeah. at this point, the post-game interview is making me do this. Let's be real here. Your first question asked was, in the playoffs, what, how, how do you feel about a performance like Saros's being squandered by missed opportunities by the rest of the team? The coaches reply, I thought our team played well. Well, when you get shut out, your team didn't play well. When you lose and go down 0-2 in a series, your team didn't play well. When you're O for God knows what. Seven. O for seven. O for seven today. O for, I think it was O for three last game. So you're O for 10 on the power play already. Just a rough estimate there. Your team's playing well. Look, I love the Preds organization. I will never turn my back on them. But are, are we watching? I'm going to use his comment in the second question. Did we watch the same game? Right. Because. And you are correct 0 for 10. Okay. It's luck. Yeah. You're 0 for 10 on the power play. You you had seven opportunities to score one goal and send it to overtime. Seven. Right. What do you expect? You think the fans are just going to go, oh, well, they played a great game. They just missed out on some opportunities. And Look, I understand. Some of those opportunities went off the post. Right. That happened. It does. But you got to regroup and put it in the net. And right, you were getting, you, you, you were getting beat to the puck, beat to defense. I mean, come on now. You had the extra man out there and got beat on an icing call. The goal yep. was pulled, and you got beat. Look, this isn't just a team problem. This is a whole no. system problem. I'm not talking about down here in Milwaukee or in Florida because I can't speak for them right now. But I can speak on what I saw the last two games, and you're getting beat to the puck, beat on the ice, beat every which way, and you're not doing anything to change it. Now you're just playing to their level. You're giving them the kind of game they want. You can't goon your way through a game. Look, I understand putting Tolvanen out there. And look, Tolvanen definitely had the jitters tonight. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. You could tell he had the jitters, which I cannot blame him. It's his first no. NHL playoff game. He should have gone right. in 
last game. That way, this game, he could have performed at the level he is accustomed to. Right. But now, you got to dig yourself out of an 0-2 hole, that which you haven't been in since going to the Stanley Cup playoffs in 2017. All right. Look, and you went to the Cup that year. But then no, again, you, you went away from it. what worked. They went away from what worked. To start this series. Let's be and real. then, not only that, as the game progressed, you started seeing guys on lines where it's just like, Ooh, why are we pairing these people? Right. It's, it... Shoot, make me want to watch Friday after next. Literally, this is just getting to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated with the staff. I'm frustrated with the, the play. I'm frustrated with a lot of things. I'm not just blaming the coaching staff. I'm blaming the players, too, because they're out there making the mistake. Duchesne cannot be making these blind passes, turning the puck over in the playoffs. Regular season, fine. Right now, now's not the time, dude. Right. Personally, I think he got his paycheck, got to go somewhere he wanted to be, has no reason to play. You know? And, and here, I'm not going to take away from Nadalkovic. He played an amazing game and stood on his head. Yeah. But I'm going to say this. They could have beat him. Right. But they were getting beat to the puck. I mean, you. Just, I just saw – the because uh, on my TV, they got clips of that game on. You've got Ekholm and, and Forsberg getting beat to pucks. Right. It's either a a locker room problem, where the coach is feeding them some line of weird voodoo that's going on in there. I mean, I can't speak on it because I'm not in the locker room, but there's right. something going on here where these guys just don't want to play now. I mean, and then here's the other part when you really look at it, you know, you got you got people sitting there going. Don't blame the coach. Don't blame this. Don't blame that. Don't blame this. Don't blame that. Let's be real here. In the media and as a fan or an American, you can blame whatever you want. Doesn't make you right, but you can do it. Right. You know, I mean, here's the thing. Tonight, I blame the loss completely on a lack of effort. I'm not blaming it on just one player. I'm blaming it on the whole team. All, what, 19 skaters? Or, wait, 18 skaters and one goalie? Right. And I shouldn't even be blaming Saros, but what am I supposed to do? He was on the ice. You know, I, I mean, and even that, the one goal that went in on him before everything else was on the power play. Right. I mean, this just is a, te a, 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 a testament to the problems they've had all year. Holy smokes. Eek. Edmonton's getting lit up. <laughs> yeah. I just saw that. Whew. But when it comes to that, you know, um, I, uh, I think today when I was coming into the game, like, I'm disheartened. By their lack of effort to want to even watch. Yeah. Like, and then that makes it hard for me to even want to like do this, which I love doing. Right. You know, so it's like to an extent you're sitting there going, What are you what are you doing? You've made it to the playoffs. Once you get there, everything starts from scratch. Right. Except for your lineup. Yeah. Now, all the lineups have been changed. Well, by the and way, even Cal if you go back to that at this point, you're not going to have the chemistry you had. And now you're down 0 2. And now you're going home and probably going to get smacked next game, maybe squeak out four and then go to Carolina and get stomped. It's just what's going to happen. So, I mean, that's my prediction. Now, prove me wrong. Can a complete turnaround happen? Yes. So let's see it. Let's 
you know, prove us let's wrong. Get it figured out wrong. and let's do this. Yeah. I mean, in the end of the day, prove they have to stay up watching video all night to find a method to do it. But you got to do what you got to do. It's like you said, you're you're in the playoffs. No one thought you'd make it. And yeah, everybody thought Dallas would catch us. Right. I mean, and, and when we when we really look at it, you know, in a weird sense, I want to be proved wrong. I think it's over. Right. Personally, I think the series is over. But that's because you've taken faith out of the team. There's lackluster performance. There's no pride on the ice. The only per- people I see hustling are Janelle, Halla, and Saros. Right. And and Halla is willing to scrap it up with anybody just just light a spark under his team. Right. Like, I mean, and that's the end of the day. Look, even if you're a Carolina fan at this point, looking at Nashville's performance is pitiful. You know, you got – I feel like sometimes I look at it and I go, we are the worst team to ever make the playoffs. Because we had an identity and then we got rid of it. Just kicked it out right. the door. Play a physical game, play a skill game at the same time, and win games. That's not what we're doing. No. You're being fancy and everybody wants their shot in the spotlight. That is not what the playoffs are for. That's an all-star game. Right. <laughs> you want to do that, go next year and get into the all-star game. But here's personally my opinion. If you're not going to show up and work, this is what I would do if I was coach. If you didn't show up in game one and two, you're riding the pine. I'll start some rookies in your place just to show you, hey, Maybe this guy wants it more than you do. Right. You know, why not let a guy like Tomasino in at this point for Duchesne? I mean, at least you're not going to get four turnovers a game, which is what he was averaging all season is four turnovers a game. That's not what you want to be seeing in the playoffs. And he's supposed to be Mr. Playoffs. Yo, know, I've seen the extra hustle, but no rewards, man. He's still turning the puck over. He's trying, too, bad- hard, trying too hard to be a one-man show. No, he was kind of one-man show for Colorado a few years back. Yeah, but I mean... It doesn't fit in the Nashville system. No, not many people do. No, the bad the part about Nashville system is it comes from here. We have a bad player. Let's start with that. It starts from right here, Milwaukee. Yeah, we start it here, and then when you get there, you're ready, and you go up there and you thrive. Look at Forsberg. Look at Arvidsson. One of the best development teams there are. Why we go and get these high paid, high price? Like, look, there's a, there's probably a handful of guys in the league that can fit into any system. Guys like Ovechkin, right. Crosby, Malkin, McDavid, and probably Eichel and Matthews. But that's about it. You're not going to be able to fit right. everybody into that system. There's a handful of guys that can fit into any system. It's not going to – and Duchesne is not one of those guys. It didn't work in Ottawa. It didn't work in St. Louis. Or not St. Louis, Columbus. It's not working here. Send right. him back to Colorado. At this point, he don't have a no-trade clause. What do they got to lose? I mean, send him to Seattle for all you know. All right. Oh. Apparently, the Blues have three players in COVID protocol. Oh, lovely. I see this. So, you know, as you can tell, we pay attention to everything hockey. Speaking of right. which, we have one more video to do tonight. But this one in particular, when you sit back and you look at it and you have a, a, a comment like Heinz made, where I did your team squander Saros's good performance? 
because Saros did play well. Yeah. Our team played well. No, that's not what we need. Let's just be bluntly honest and honest with everybody, whether it's a press conference, whether it's your players. You got to point out the faults. You got to fix them. You can't just put a band aid and go, oh, the team played well. Played well where? Right. Like that one guy said, where we, it was like, are we watching the same game? Where? Like, here's the thing where? Like, I mean, certain players played well. Right. But as a team, y'all played like crap. Let's be real. You know, as a team, you played like crap. There's no chemistry except for the third, the fourth line, the third line. That's the only line doing anything. Right. You know, the, the, so the, the, the first and the fourth line are the only two lines doing anything. And when you show up with half your team and then the defensemen, that you're just jumbling them all the time. Sar, uh, Yossi had five different or four different partners tonight. He had Echo, he had, he had Ellis, he had uh, Harper, and he had Carrier. He had every other defenseman with him at one point. Mm-hmm. That's like starting a closing pitcher to, <laughs> to start a game. Just send him out there for an inning and just go, here you go. Now go win the game in one inning. Like it's 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 really frustrating when you when you sit back and look at this because I've gotten mad at Hines over the last year because of his lineup decisions, and you know, look, I don't you know. Yeah, faith in your team. Yeah, and I have I have his lineup decisions is if this don't work next game I'm changing it. Right. You're not giving them time to fix it themselves. Even on the bench tonight, he there was a there was a mismatch out there and he went and changed the line immediately. Right. And then it was worse. I'm just saying it's 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 overly frustrating when when those things happen and you make the faults and you say, "Oh, well we played well." Now you're just saying I believe in these guys. We're going to dig out of this. Let's go do the same thing in Nashville on, on Friday. Personally, I wish I had a $500 trust fund just so I could take a trip down to Nashville to smash a car. But that's my personal opinion. Now, I am glad I of one thing out of this. If anything, it proves to what I'm saying now, to kind of what I've been thinking over the last week before the season ended. And that is, I don't think we belong here. I think there are other teams in the league that play better than us, have better records, and deserve to be in. That's my opinion. Doesn't matter. Way to go, Colorado. You just scored another goal. (laughs) Anyway, I guess that's all I got to say for tonight. Anyway, talk to y'all later. See y'all Friday. Double show. We got the Everblades too. Yep. The road to the Kelly Cup starts June seventh. Pay attention to that. Because personally, like I said, prove me wrong, but I think we'll be done by then. So, talk to y'all later.